Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to upgrade our Mac to the latest Apple operating system, 10.14 Mojave. Before we start, it's really important to check the compatibility of your computer to see if it will run Mojave properly. So you can check out this guide here. In general, most computers that were made in 2012 or later should be pretty good. Uh, so Mac good, MacBook, sorry, MacBook introduced in early 2015 or later, MacBook Air 2012 or later, MacBook Pro 2012 or later, Mac Mini 2012 or later, or iMac 2012 or later. The Mac Pro Tower pretty much has to be the 2013 model. You can get some of the old models to load Mojave on them, but you're going to have to buy a third-party video card, which will allow the new display feature called uh, Metal to be functional on the computer. As usual with any of these, make sure you have a backup. It's critical that you have a backup. And then also, you're going to need to be connected to the internet so that you can download the operating system. Now you can upgrade from pretty much any operating system, uh, but in this case, we are on a Mac that is running High Sierra. But you can upgrade from Sierra or um, a few versions down from there as well. What you want to do though, in whatever case, is to make sure that your version of the operating system has all the latest updates to it, and then your upgrade will happen more smoothly. So the very first thing to do is to back up your system. So you'll see here, you've got an external USB hard drive plugged in and it's been backed up using Time Machine. Remember, when you're upgrading your operating system, anything can happen. Uh, if the upgrade gets interrupted, um, your Mac gets unplugged, somebody trips over the power cord, something like that, and the upgrade stops midway, it can really seriously mess up your system folder so your Mac might not boot anymore. So it is extremely critical to make sure that you have a backup. I can't stress that enough. So with that uh, being said, we can proceed. So the very first thing to do is to open up the App Store. This is where all the upgrades are held and the latest upgrade is available here. You'll see on the side of the App Store, there should be either a big advertisement here, here we've got an Office 365, but uh, there should be something on the side as well saying Mac OS Mojave. If it's not there, you can always just click in the search bar here and type in Mojave and do a search and you'll be able to see it here as well. You can click on it if you want to learn a little bit more about it and so on. So here you'll have a button to download it. So the very first thing to do is to download it. I'm going to press that and the operating system should start to download. Now the operating system is quite large so you might find that the download takes uh, quite a lot of time. So it really depends on the speed of your internet. If you've got a slower internet, it's going to take a long, long time. If you've got a fast internet, it could happen quite quickly. Uh, so that's the thing. Um, it could take quite, quite some time for it to uh, download. You'll see over here in the corner, it's saying the size of the download is six gigabytes. So it's going to take a while, so please be patient. So what we'll do for the sake of this demonstration is we'll speed up this process and we will come right back as soon as the download is complete. If you want to get more of a status as to how far along your download is and how much data is being downloaded, you can hover over the launch pad down here and you should get a view of how many gigabytes are downloaded and how many gigabytes total you have to download so you can sort of figure out how far along it is. You also um, get a progress bar down there as well. Here the download is completing and as it completes you'll find that it automatically launches the install macOS Mojave application. Uh, if you don't want to install at that moment you can always click up here and choose to quit install and you can find it again later in the applications folder. Uh, also you can quit the App Store, you don't need that open anymore. So from here you will hit continue. You'll get a view of the license here. 
you can just click on agree. Click agree again. And then you can choose the hard drive that you have to in, that you want to install it on. So in this case we're going to install it our, on our internal hard drive. And then here we will click install. I'm just going to switch over to camera mode because the computer will reboot and we can see the installation progress. Okay, we're in camera mode and we are ready to install. We will hit the install button here. Just click that. And you may have to enter your password for your computer. So this is the password that you chose when you first set up your computer. It's your user password. It has to be part of a administrator level account. So from here, the operating system will copy itself to the hard drive and install itself. The computer will reboot through the process. So it can take uh, quite some time. So in this case, it's showing us it's going to take 20 minutes. And so it'll run through and then reboot. And as soon as that's done, uh, then we should be able to complete the installation. So to speed up the process here, I'm not gonna make you wait through the whole installation. So we'll speed that up so you can see what the finishing process will be like. But be patient and let this run through. Again, make sure that your computer is um, fully backed up before you do this. So in case anything happens during this time, you won't have any kind of uh, disaster with your uh, system folder. You don't want it to become corrupted. Otherwise it can really cause problem for the computer to operate in the future. So now Mojave is finished loading onto the system and it will come up with the login screen. You can enter your password here that you set up for your computer. And then here you get to choose what look that you would like for Mojave. The regular light look that the Mac has or the new dark look. Let's try out the dark look and see. It'll go through the process of setting up your Mac with all of the configurations. and. Oh, here it's telling me Team Viewer is not optimized for the Mac and needs to be updated. That's fine. You might find that you have a few applications that are not fully compatible with Mojave and you have to go through and update them. We have now successfully loaded Mac OS 10.14 Mojave on our computer and we're able to use all the latest new functions uh, such as the dark mode here. You'll see the windows and everything have a complete new look. Looks a little bit like the uh, Adobe software. Uh, you'll find uh, that you can switch back and forth from this um, in the system preferences. We can go here into the general preferences and switch between light and dark pretty easily. And there are a number of new features and we'll set up a video showing some of the new features in Mojave that you can get used to. You'll find that Mojave is a good operating system. In general, it's a fast operating system if your computer is compatible with it. So enjoy working in the new system. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the thumbs up button down below uh, to like it and also subscribe to our channel. We're putting up new videos regularly, giving you different tips and tricks around using your Mac and your iOS products. Also put a comment down below if you have any suggestions as to other topics we should cover. Um, maybe some new ways uh, of doing things in Mojave that you have questions about. Also share it with your friends if you think that they'll find it uh, helpful. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.